Firmament Stone is is one of the few anvils beneath the sky that can tolerate the hammer ne the strikes necessary to craft demon steel. Here, I will show you. Two parts lay stone, one part fell slate. No heat, no tempering. Just pure strength and finesse. Try it. I will coach you. Together, we are high mountain. Now, Power Nine, hit the metal as hard as you can. Is that all you can do? You have to do much better than that. Come on, Smith. Hit it! Alright. Just have to bludge in the anvil. Sounds good. Uh, the Art of Demon Steel. There you have it. Demon Steel. Welcome to the next level of smithing, pal I? Now I got. Now I now make the bars. First, however, you will need proper patterns for demon steel armor. All access to the stone is earned through hard work and perseverance. Access to recipes is limited to trusted members of our tribe. Perhaps you should seek another smith if you wish to discuss demon steel patterns. Really, really, asshole. Well, I'll tell you how to make demon steel, but I won't tell you what to do with it. <laughs> Let's go, uh, what's hard? That'll get me all the way over to here. So I can just pop over to get tribal knowledge. I remember someone ref seen that quest reference somewhere. I don't remember where. So I've got any use out of that. And Sorry, I'm just having a look at the talents. I'm curious, like, oh, should I get this? Should I get that? <laughs> and I'm just getting incisive. I want to fight Anax. I have no interest in fighting an enemy I've already budgeted to death before. Also, it seems he does it by mining by default uses um, his pick, which is nice. So I got some glass extracted lace though. Carefully mine laced. Oh, come on. There you go. I would very much like to do this, but I sincerely, sincerely doubt I can just waltz on in and do it. Here, I'm gonna look this up because that's a very nice quest. Gives me a bit better gear. Um, uh, I uh, of A Z O N A term term I N A T I O N calls. Oh, it's not Iva Zona. It's Iva Shara. A Z S H A R A. A R A. Okay, I googled this. No, apparently, well, I binged it, and there's no idea. I just use Bing because it's the default thing my phone goes to. No other reason. For a moment, I thought I was a sleeping beastie. My eyes are just not cooperating. That's a speaking beast. Victory lies ahead. Uh, I wouldn't expect a torn to part with the recipes easily. We're not quite we're not quite as bullheaded as they are, but even our recipes will come at a price. Still, you've earned access to the fir firmament stone, and and proven the path to another. Uh, Still, it's this, sorry. Still, you've earned the access to the firmament stone and proven the path to another great anvil. Should Uriel and I need it, you have earned this recipe as a token of our thanks. 
the phrasing there. It just sounds like they're pals, you know, or comrades rather than master and minion, you know? And also demon hunter and demon. It's, I want to know more about this character because she's... It seems like she might be breaking lore, and I'm curious. Yes, I know how to make the arm guards. I've freely given you our hard-learned passion for Demon Steel Arm Guards. Speak with Oreo if you want to learn if you wish to learn more Demon Steel patterns. They will come at a price. We need raw materials. Okay, he can't just train you. It's you know, browse goods. Okay, he wants twenty foul slate and twenty broken teeth. Oh broken teeth. Twenty thing. It's all in twenties. Waystone ore and fell slate. Eye of prophecy. Apparently something I have. And he will give me the helm. Unbroken cloth, boot, boots, le a stone leather, a stone hide leather for that. <sighs> Christ. I have already have that. Um, Christ. I need 55 demon steel bars and 80 storm scale. Ah. <sighs> Okay, um, how many, and I can only make 35 of those. And I actually have to use the firmament stone. I know you would expect, well, duh, the quest. I know, but sometimes the game's like, oh, you have to do it this way. And then the moment you finish the quest, it's like, ah, do whatever way you want. The, the, the game just stops giving a shit. There's like a ton of like, like there's like foul slate seams, and I have no way to access them, and it's really irritating me. There's um something I saw on Bellyard Gaming, um, uh, as part uh, it's another YouTube channel, uh, does a lot of wow vids. And he was talking about, you know, apparently some way um, of. There's that thing. The judgment, like judgment thing. Um, playing the game to. Um, like, a, like a new way of playing WoW that makes it feel like it's new, brand new. Like to help with burnout and all that. Boss, I never watched the video. Um, I was, I wasn't too interested, purely because it's just like, eh. Uh, just I know, it just didn't do it. it just didn't do it for me. Um, I'm very tempted to go and take a look now, because I am a bit burnt out, and and that can keep me not burnt out. It's a good thing in my book. Um, especially considering that um, I'm. I question how entertaining I'll be if I sound just like painfully bored with the game, you know? So if you know if it makes it more a bit more interesting, then I'm gonna go with it. Well, I'll, I'll see what it is, and if it's okay, then I'll give it a go. But uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, I'll give it a look after I'm done recording this set. But yeah, I'm gonna wander around here a bit and get some more. Um, we'll grab this quest. What? Uh, what at first looked like another chunk of felsite is in fact a human, a humanite heart, crusted in rock and filled not with blood but vile demonic, but a vile demonic substance. It does not appear to belong to the beast you carved it out of. It seems that the infernal was, the infernal. It's meant you're meant to get it off Infernals, but it's since they put the people who put this together, uh, the dev team didn't realize you could get it off of Basilisks as well. So anyway, uh, I was holding out. Uh, it seems the Infernal was holding, uh, was holding it like a keepsake. Ho luckily, your mining pick didn't hit it straight on. Fellsmith Narissa will want to see this. Uh, 
you know, I'll get the hit, get these two, then I'll go and say hi to her. Come on, up here. Oh, I got two portals up. Seriously, those portals are shit. <laughs> like, seriously, 100 damage per imp, and there's like 10 imps. A thousand damage really isn't that worthwhile. Uh, maybe in Zulfarak, it, that could mean something. But here, no. Enemies have a lot of that got that out. Uh, so, you need a bit more than that. You know, I'm actually thinking I might stay here for a little bit and farm. There seems to be quite a few basilisks here. And if, eh, it's a fine respawn rate. Then again, maybe I skipped a few and didn't realize it. Um, if only I could get into these um, seams. Th there's like a ton of deposits on the ground. Even a few seams. So, that would be nice to get into. What business have you? Andre, a humanoid heart tinged around the edges with fell energy. My sister Andre was the first among us to mine, the first among us to fall. Some nature's even Dreadwar convinced her to replace her own heart, her heart, with a chunk of fell slate. I sued the Dreadwar myself, but couldn't find the heart. This must be it. Big sister, I'm sorry. Your loss will not be forgotten. We will learn from your missteps. Wait. I, am I to understand that she turned into an infernal? Because that's where this seems to be hinted at. And, and of course she fucking rivets the same fucking thing onto my arm. All right. Um, and now I have living fell slate rank two. I increased chance to find rare materials in living fell slates. Next time, um, actually, the next quest is Andre. Maybe she isn't dead. And maybe she did turn into an infernal. But I've now increased chance to find rare materials. Personally, I prefer to find any materials. You know, beyond elemental pebbles. I choose to believe it's an elemental version of pebbles from uh, Flintstones. Woo! Ancient mana crystal. I like it. I wonder what. Was that because of the increased chance to rare drops and because I was here or what? But yeah, that's nice. It's only 50, but it's 50. It's an extra little bit towards the um, next level. Hmm. The respawn rate isn't as good as I thought. Um, I did skip a few enemies. I thought I hadn't, but I had. Irritating. Still, there's more over here. If I can get through without dying. Let's grab this over here. Also, I'm not sure if I actually vocalized it earlier, but for uh, when back when I was in Sulfarak and I went to kill the final boss of the area, well, for whatever reason, the imps started hitting me. They started doing a little under 100 damage. Yeah, I have no idea either. It's quite strange. If you do know why, please feel free to tell me. Hopefully by the time you see this, I'll have traded it out anyway, but still, I'm curious. I'll work my way over to 
that foul slate deposit. There's no way I'm going to go and buy foul slate. It's way too goddamn expensive. Um, um, each bit is worth 44 gold. I could sell 5 bits for 220 gold. That would easily bankrupt me to go and um, buy that. So, no. I'm just going to grind up a bit of ore here myself. And if I'm lucky, um, I'll uh, proc my shoulder enchants. Ooh, I got three ore! Yay! Too burly. Actually, wasn't there one in High Mountain? Hmm. It's tempting to go bludgeon that to death. Wait. Calcedon. Calcedon. I swear I've seen that guy before. Wasn't that the same name as... The guy over here? Maybe it is. It just maybe that was a Karen Tor world quest that I just wasn't getting. Yeah, I remember the mini game I started over there. I obviously don't have a clue, I'm just guessing. But it's a possibility. Though, then again, why would I have been able to access the minigame at all if I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't, you know, didn't have the world quest? It, maybe it's just a glitch. It's a fair thing to assume. Glitches are possible. It's not that surprising. Oh, and the uh, little heels can also crit. So you can get actually more than just, um, you know. 4,633. You can get, I saw an, a crit for 9,000. So, it's still pittance, but it's an extra little bit, you know? Every time you hit, you get healed. Provided the each hit is between the, so, sorry, uh, each hit has a, a second gap between it. Honest, I'm surprised. Remember how she was saying the sister uh, was persuaded to remove her own heart by a dreadlord. How did she continue living? Typically, people need their heart to pump blood around their body. Actually, there was actually a rather interesting line uh, during I don't remember what time period, but it was like the old in England, um, where a guy was going to be executed. And he was going to have his heart. Uh, some, uh, he was going to be beheaded. But his executioner ordered, or someone had ordered anyway, for when he was to be executed, for his heart to be ripped out of his chest and flung in his face before he died. So, yeah. Ye old in England. Five hundred and seventy-eight. Yeah, a little bit of ancient mana as I'm doing this. I need to get Wait. I think I found the cave to all the uh, those notes that I was noticing on the map. And considering how there's basilisks nearby, maybe there's more in there. I find a good spot to get some ore. I just wish I had the higher uh, higher mining and higher ranks in the other thing, uh, the other things. So I'm really not getting much ore. Yep, I found it. So this is nice and long uh, cave. <laughs> Big and vagina joke. So, it's a fair assumption that this goes back to, you know, where the other points are. 
whether or not this stuff is 